Hi everyone and welcome to this video on how to manage your website files through the Fastlist Online File Manager. So to access it we can start by going for our control panel so go to fastlist.co.uk, go to the login area and then just go through your control panel and just log in using your usual username and password. And from here if we go to website hosting we're going to see a list of all our packages and I'm just going to go into the fastlistwebinars.com package here and we can open the file manager by clicking open on the file management tab and that should open in a new tab there we go now in the future you can browse directly to this url here you don't have to go through the control panel i uh, would we'll just enter some of the yes enters the ftp username if you go through the fastest control panel so ftp username is going to be your your uh, your domain name so fastestwebinars.com and the password is whatever you've set it as and if you need to set that if we go back here you can go to the under file management we go to FTP and you can change your password there as well so if we go in initial directory HTTP docs language English bind uh, we got FTP mode automatic that's fine you can choose to have it on SSL uh, which will just make it a little bit slower but obviously more secure uh, I'll just leave it as it is for now for this video so here we can see all of our website files and you can see we're currently in HT Docs and you've got the directory tree here so if we click root we're going to go into the root of our website files and so that's just like the very top level so from there we can go down into HT Docs down into another directory and you can just see you've got some nice easily clickable links to go back so if we go to HC Docs, you can see all of my website files here. So just a very quick overview of this. If we check one of these, we've got a few options. So we could copy it, move it, delete it, rename it. They're all fairly obvious. The only ones that you might not be too sure of what they are is uh, chmod, which just allows you to change the file permissions. Now this is only available if your website is on the Linux operating system, which this one currently is. We can see that here, Linux operating system. Uh, if you're on Windows, you can't actually change the file permissions. So I can say that's one thing to note there. You can click on size, which literally just tells you how big the file size is. Um, and again, you can download it if you want to make a backup or anything like that. And if you want to download an entire directory, um, you could do that as well. If you want to make a backup of your website, for example. So one thing that's worth noting um, is that the file upload limit here uh, is 20 megabytes. So if the, your files are bigger than that, then you'll need to use a file manager such as FileZ or something like that. Um, we can also do a few other bits here, so a new directory, a new file, upload and Java upload. So the usual one is going to be upload, where we can upload, fi upload files using this. So you can browse your computer, add another. If you've got a load of files you want to upload, it's a good idea just to use the Java upload. Um, but again, um, there's a few limits on there. So if it takes more than a minute to upload, for example, it's going to time out. So if you've got a lot to upload, it might be worth looking into something like FileZilla, which is a free... Uh, FTP client or maybe another one but that's how you use this particular online file management system and that's the end of the video thanks very much for watching goodbye for now